everyone, welcome to day 38 of year 2 of Awesome. Alright, so I know I'm probably a little behind in this, but still, what the fuck? Is there nothing we can consume anymore without being afraid of being attacked by methamphetamines of some sort? Uh, apparently, bath salts are now used as a drug? What? Bath salts were amazing because they made baths just all the more better because they just helped you relax. And now, apparently idiots who decided, hey, let's just fuck shit up for everyone else, decided to start smoking and snorting this sh and injecting bath salts. Bath salts. How desperate do you have to be to get high in order to think, oh, hey, I wonder if I could use bath salts to get high. Really? What the fuck is wrong with you if you're that desperate? Maybe that's a sign that you probably shouldn't be doing drugs. Maybe, just just maybe, that's an indication of, hey, if I'm stooping this low, maybe I shouldn't be doing it. But no, of course not, because people these days have no shred of self-respect, self-worth, or self, uh, self-preservation, apparently. Because, uh, apparently by injecting, snorting, or smoking these bath salts, you go through the same effects of methamphetamines and cocaine. What? Which brings me to my next question. What the fuck is in these sea salts? Or these bath salts? Really? What the fuck? Seriously, providers of bath salts, I, I'm glad that you provide a product that allows me to personally enjoy my baths. Because I take baths every so often and I do have bath salt because it is probably one of the best ideas ever. But what the fuck are you guys putting in this shit? Really? Really? That, that, that's nice to know that that shit was in my bath salt. I, I just figured it would be salt with some other, like, calcium shit to make my skin feel good, but oh, fuck no. Apparently, there's very similar ingredients in methamphetamines and cocaine. So that's cool. That's that's lovely, actually. Uh, but it's, it's just weird. And then, this was the other thing. I was listening to the radio when I heard about this shit. And before they even mention what the fuck it is, they're like, oh yeah, it's, it's conveniently available at all these other stores, and there's this great scare. And it's like, why, why are you letting people know that this is widely available? And why don't you just come up with another name for it so people aren't out actively looking for it? That's just stupid. Because you can buy bath salts at any fucking age. I was buying bath salts when I was fucking 16. So what the fuck? How that is not a good idea. How is how is, is sharing this information a good fucking idea? At least give it some other name. And when people start wondering why a certain product is taken off the market, then you let people know. But until then, keep it a secret. Keep you you should keep something like that under your hat, just out of the sheer safety for others that you should be concerned with. Instead of just going out and saying, oh, hey, by the way, guys, there's a drug that's legal now, and that is bath salts. And oh, by the way, it has the same effects as methamphetamines and cocaine. Just thought you might want to know that in case you ever felt the need to get so fucked up that you can't even function. I swear, the media is so fucking stupid sometimes. Question for you guys. Have you heard about this bath salt nonsense? If so, what do you think about it? Alright, that's it for today, guys. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.